what is up everybody welcome back to another video this is part two of the dendroculus video i hope the first one was helpful now the second one we will be hunting around 20 dendroculuses and all these are like hidden behind particular mechanisms and you have to do the story quest called the aranyaka world quest and so if you finish the entire world quest it's pretty simple because you will have unlocked all the mechanisms needed to get these dendroculuses so without further ado let's move on to the video so the first Dendroclus will be over here in Mautimia forest and for this you have to complete the world quest which is the Agnihotra Sutra which is part of the Aranyaka world quest. By the end of the of the Agnihotra Sutra quest you will be unlocking this particular mushroom which is not there before and this mushroom is the one which you need to in order to enter the cave where the Dendroclus is located. So as you can see I am climbing up the mushroom right now and now the entrance to the cave has opened and once you enter the cave you have to go down and then there are a bunch of stuff to unseal and stuff but like uh, after that we can find the we have to actually clear all that in order to find the last dendroculus anyways after clearing all the seals and unlocking them there will be this one fine withering zone uh, this final withering zone which you have to clear in order to unlock the dendroculus which is just to the north of it yeah so you can see that um tree like thingy and uh, in between its roots we can find the dendroculus in Mautimia forest so that's the first hidden dendroculus now the next set is over here in uh, chatrakam cave there are around two there are three dendroculuses you can get over here so in order to enter chatrakam cave you actually have to do a particular mechanism which uh, it is carried out as part of the quest when you're doing the Agnihotra Sutra quest which we just completed a while ago so uh, yeah that should help you unlock the cave which now looks like this okay so as soon as you enter Chatrakam cave you can see the next dendroculus just sitting there so all you got to do is climb up and get the second dendroculus okay so the next dendroculus is in the same cave all you got to do is go by towards this waterfall and then summon the dendrogranum and activate this mechanism uh, activate three of those and you can see that uh, inside the bubble is the next dendroculus so once you activate this mechanism the bubble will disappear and you can get the third dendroculus once you exit the chatrakam cave you should directly be reaching to this place where you can get the third dendroculus and now for the third dendroculus there it is actually in a cave again but the thing is you have to remove the vines there's there's certain vines there which can only be removed by a certain mechanism which also again will be taking part as part of the quest so once those vines are removed you can get the dendroculus easily so the next one is by the area of vimara village and this one also requires a mechanism to unlock it to unlock this mechanism you will have to do the quest vimana agama and uh, it's fairly the starting of the quest where you receive this po power or the tune called the rhythm of Vamada. Now this is the power which you need in order to open this particular mechanism. You play the song and then you hit the ball and it turns and it opens. Now once it opens all you gotta do is go to the entrance and the dendroclis is just straight there. Now the next three dendrocle are uh, around the region of the Devantaka mountain. So let's head over there. So now this is another part of the Vimana Agama quest. When you do follow the quest line you will reach into a submerged cave like this. And uh, if you look to the extreme left corner you can actually see that there is a dendroclis which is submerged under water. Now if you follow along the story you will uh, reach a particular mechanism which will help you lower the water level and you can collect the dendroculus that way next you have to do this quest called the rhythm that reveals the beastly trail which is part of a three part quest from the aranyaka world quest the quest will help you unlock this rhythm at the starting of the quest itself and once it's unlocked we can go get the other dendroclises. Okay so now for this you just teleport over here and you go down to the bottom of the hill where you will find a green bubble which requires you to play the tune 
and you can unlock the dendrock list right there So there you go, that's the 7th Dendroculus we are finding. Next we teleport back to the same teleport waypoint and we go backwards instead of forwards this time to get the next Dendroculus. So yeah, we are almost at the location. Uh, once we reach the location, we have to play the Rhythm of the Beastly Trail again, just like we did before, and it will help us unlock and get the 8th Dendroculus. Now we are heading over to the Upper Moods region where two Dendrocli are waiting for us. Now these two Dendrocli are fairly simple to get but you have to finish the Varunagada quest chain completely in order to access these two Dendrocli. Now the first one you can get it uh, whilst doing the quest. Um, there is this particular again wines in the Varunagada quest chain which uh, unlocks after you do the cutscene. And yeah now that the cutscene is over all you gotta do is walk right into the Varuna contraption and as you can see there is a cave here now and what's at the opening are Dendroculus number nine now when you finish the varunagada question you will receive this rhythm of the source water which is required for you to unlock the second and roculus you can teleport over here and fly down straight to the mechanism now after you reach here uh, you play the tune and then you can change the settings from sunny to rainy so as to lower the water level which is required for us to access the second dendroculus and then you just fly down right under the varuna contraption and you can find your dendroculus over there okay so we flew down right under the varuna contraption now the water level is lowered and there is our dendroculus number 10. next we move on to this ruins of dahri where we have to get one dendroculus which is deep inside a well now uh for this you have to complete uh, the dream nursery quest uh, the fourth part uh, in which you have to find arapasati's four brothers yeah this is a part with one of the brother and if so yeah uh, what basically happens is you follow the quest line and uh, it helps you uh, remove the water in this huge uh, well and once you remove the water in the well you can proceed down into the cave below where the dendroculus is present Okay, so within the well, you just keep proceeding forward and uh, when you proceed forward, you can use fast travel and see the Dendroculus just floating there in midair. So that's number 11. So next we have to go to this place called the Yasna Monument where we had left uh, a Dendroculus untouched the last time we came here. So now for this, all you need to do is just like you learned the other rhythms, you have to learn the rhythm of the sprout, which is also a sub quest, just like the rhythm of the breezy trail. And once you finish the quest, you will receive the rhythm for the sprout, which can help you unlock the other mechanism. So now there are two dendroclists that you can obtain by using the rhythm of the sprout. Uh, one is over here in Yasna Monument and the other one I will show following this one. So the one at the Yasna Monument, just follow the route and we'll see. Okay, so now the dendro bubble you are seeing, that's the one we have to unlock and in order for that we have to first get the dendro grana by playing the rhythm of the sprout and the rest is pretty much simple. Now using this healthy dendrograna thingy you have to um, burst open those rocks there and uh, once you do that three times the bubble will unlock and you can finally get your dendroculus.
Okay, so you, now you teleport upwards to this monument here and you strike the dendro thingy, this one. And uh, we have one more to hit and that will unlock the bubble. And there you go, we got our next Dendroculus. Now uh, we teleport over here because we will be using the Rhythm of the Sprout to unlock another mechanism to get the 13th Dendroculus. Now after um, teleporting over here, we will be traveling down by the side of the hut to that location. It is actually part of a quest, so it's pretty simple, the location is already marked for you. So all you got to do is travel to that location and use the Rhythm of the Sprout again and unlock a cave and the Dendroclus is sitting just at the mouth of a cave. Now for the next two Dendroclay we have learned the Rhythm of the Gloomy Path while doing the other quests of the Aranaka quest chain. And uh, this Rhythm of the Gloomy Path will help us unlock the location in order to get the next two Dendroclay. So for the first one you teleport over here and after teleporting you can just uh, fly down. Uh, fly down to till you see something that looks like a small cave or something. Maybe probably like a sprout and it has a green glowing thingy the one which you see down there yeah um, so once you reach there you play the rhythm of the gloomy path and once that is played it will unlock uh, a, or it will teleport you to another cave where you can find the dendroculus yeah so you go up here um, climb over there climb over here and then you turn back around to see that's not where you were supposed to be climbing. So you go here, you jump up, jump up, jump up. And then you finally got a Dendroculus. So after that you teleport over here to get the next Dendroculus. Then after teleporting you go towards the right. That is to the bottom of the hill. Where you can find a similar path. Just like the one which we just entered before. We play the tune and we enter another cave. And there you find your 15th Dendroculus. So as you can see we have entered the cave and um, once we enter the cave there's the dendroculus just sitting on top so we got our 15th dendroculus okay so uh, this one's a bit uh, long one so stay with me on this guys so we teleport over here and we jump down the cl cliff and there's the secret entrance by this waterfall so we enter into the secret cave which is also apparently a waterfall and we move move forward uh, we can use this uh, mushroom to climb up the waterfall only if they gave us a gap to climb it these guys are killing me these guys are literally killing me god what the hell okay so once you climb the waterfall you just go on ahead you don't need to mind these guys and now you can see that there's a dendro barrier over there. You have to unlock the mechanism there. It's a pretty simple mechanism. So we first broke this one over here to reveal another cave. And over here there will be a Sealy who will help you unlock the dendro barrier there. Okay, so you just need to set this Sealy over here free. And the Sealy will, will help you unlock uh, the Dendro Elemental Statue and which when you activate it, you will remove the Dendro Barrier. Okay, so now that you've unlocked the Dendro Barrier and gotten through, you see this big thingy here. You play the Rhythm of the Sprout over here. I mean Rhythm of the Great Dream, which is the basic rhythm which we've been playing since the beginning. So after you play this, you will have to do this challenge here in which you have to collect 15 uh, fantastic, these small green butterflies. And uh, once you do that, it's fairly simple. Once you do that, you can unlock 
the path to the where the dendroculus is Now, uh, if you if there's ever a time when you can't actually find these butterflies, all you gotta do is you see those blue flower-like thingies. You just hit them with electro, and the locations of the green butterflies will light up. Okay, now that the path has cleared up, we can just move forward and we will enter into a much much bigger cave where we can finally finally get our 16th Dendroculus. Now for the next two you have to start the Aranyaka world quest part 3 and not really start that you have to practically finish the entire thing if you want to get the two remaining dendrocluses from this hidden region. Okay so once you finish the entire quest scene you teleport to the statue of the seven and you take this path where you can find the dendroculus which is hidden under the rock. All you have to do is you have to use dendro to activate this rock and you can get the dendroculus. I think mine is bugged, <laughs> but when you use the dendro skill, the thing should open up. Yeah, I got the dendro skills anyway, so that's number 17. Now to get the next one, the easiest way is to teleport away over here and you just fly down and you can easily get the next dendro skills. So you just fly down from here and you can see that it's just sitting on top of that huge pointy tree kind of thingy it's I, I first tried climbing it from the bottom up and it's not easy at all so it's best to just fly over from here it may take some time but you will easily get your dendroculus for free and so that's number 18 yeah so that's dendroculus number 18 we have only two more to go and we are done Now for the last two, um, to be honest, I'm not really sure why I put this in this video and forgot to put in the other one because I think it's actually hidden or something. I kind of forgot, sorry guys. So you teleport over here and um, you just enter this cave over here on the right side and you can easily find the two of them. Just follow along. Okay, um, the first one is actually on top of these branches over here and the next one, once you get this one, this is Dendroculus number 19. So the next one you go down to this hole over here just go down to the very very bottom until you come to a gate just to be activated by a mechanism uh, that will unlock if you kill a ruined crab or something and then you just follow along just to move along this path and then you will you have to climb up uh, climb twice i think yeah you climb up once and now the next time you climb up these stairs and you turn around you go back and you go around this corner and you can find the 20th dendroctus and that's it so i guess that's it for this video i hope the part one and part two are helpful to you and you are able to find all the dendroctus without any hassle because i know how hard it can be to miss one or two it's really painful so with these 110 dendroctus you can read around statue level 5 and the rest of the dendroctus will come in patch 3.1 and 3.2 so anyways i hope this helped you guys and i will see you in the next video. Goodbye.